hey guys welcome i hope you all are doing fantastic thanks you so much for joining me today's reading is the person on your mind what are they thinking about you the situation at the moment we have three groups for you to choose from group one the amethyst group two the clear quartz geode and group three the black obsidian okay so one two and three what are they thinking about you all right uh, feel free to pause the video if you do need to take a few moments to choose your group but i will see you all in your readings what's going on i hope you guys are doing good if you've chosen the first group the amethyst and this reading is for you what are they thinking about you at the moment Alright, so we have the Empress in reverse, we have the Two of Cups upright, and then we have the Seven of Cups in reverse. What are they thinking about you? For some of you, this could be someone that you haven't, you don't know them too well, but maybe you've been around them for a minute, you know, so maybe you know things of each other, but uh, maybe not in depth if you guys, like, haven't connected to like that before. For some of you, maybe this is someone you've seen before. But anyway, so the person you're asking about has been thinking that you are extremely feminine. Um, your femininity is definitely something that draws them to you. They like the idea of looking after you, you know, providing you, providing for you, sorry. Like, they like the idea of buying you nice gifts as well. Um, they do think you have them feeling emotional because they aren't usually emotional. Um, but they are emotional because you guys aren't invested in each other yet and they want to talk to you more. They also want to uh, discuss something serious with you as well. They feel bad for being emotionally unavailable, um, for be being distant. And this could be something they're still doing, an energy they're still in, but they are sorry about it, like they do feel emotional, is that about you? They, they feel like, I don't know what it is, but they feel a little bit emotional when it comes to you, like, not, <laughs> like, maybe not boiling their eyes out emotional, but, like, there's definitely, like, a little, a little heavy feeling in their chest, you know? Um... But yeah, they, they are worried that they have pushed you away. Like, they are worried that you are in a relationship now. But they hope that's not the case. Um, they do think you still love them and that you're still interested in them. They do feel guilty potentially getting in the way of you and someone else. But the thought of you with this person or with someone else literally makes them feel ill you know and emotional as well like they think they need to treat you better this time around um but there is a part of them that worries they can't um you know they, they are worried maybe they can't match their intentions they could think they've wrecked or damaged your confidence in some way this could even be the confidence that you had in them or they think you, they've made you feel insecure in some way, something they want to apologise and make amends for. If this person has reached out to you recently, um, and maybe you've been taking a minute to reply, they do think you will eventually, you know, reach out to them, like, return their call message or whatever, or, you know, be more open to talk to them, if it's, like, in real life. Um, but yeah, they think you both are immature, even though you've both grown a lot as well.
for some of you they could think you are still quite young Um, they could think you don't respect them and they kind of like understand uh, they they think if they do get you back they want you to be independent feel independent like especially if they had like a problem with your independence before like they don't want to make you feel that way or maybe they just don't want to feel that way in themselves you know as well um, if you do if you guys do get back together or if you do reconnect um, like they don't want to be the one to hold you back in any in any way and they realize that it is going to be a lot of work on their end maybe that's you know certain behaviors and habits they've had in the past and they kind of realize that they can't move that way with you moving forward so they realize that they do still have things to work on um they do think you both need to stop depending on or listening to other people uh, they do think you're out of their league though, you know, they've been thinking and hoping that a situation arises where you might need them, you know, they do think that they don't have a lot, a lot of options, whereas you do, um, you know, they think you're affectionate and they've been feeling like they need that in their life, you know, they really like that about you, for some of you maybe they really miss that about you, um, but yeah, like they need that in their life and they think you would be able to comfort them when they need it. They are worried that you don't respect them anymore though. And they do think you're set. Or they think, um, they think that they're set on you like who you are, like you're what they want and they believe that they have more realistic plans and ideas now. Um, so yeah, they feel like they're pretty focused on you, even though they have their doubts that they are, even though they have their doubts, they're like almost certain that you may take them back. Um, but if you do like they do want to do things right this time around, they do think that they need to give you clarity ASAP, you know, this could be about a conversation they've had with someone else and they're thinking, um, letting you know about this conversation with someone else will help their case in some way, random message, but yeah. But that's all that's coming through, I do hope it could make sense and be helpful to you guys and I'm wishing you the best, alright, speak, speak to you guys soon. Hey gorgeous people, welcome to your reading. I hope you guys are doing good. So if you've chosen the cards, if you have done this reading, it could be for you, the person in your mind, what are they thinking about you right now? We have six of pentacles upright, magician upright, eight of cups upright. So this person, they've been thinking that they need to be kinder to you. It feels like they recognize they've been treating you poorly and they know you don't deserve it or they kind of recognize that other people have been treating you that way. But it does feel like uh, more so referring to them. Um, and this may not be treating you poorly. For some of you, it's just like maybe they've been off and they've kind of recognized that them being off is you know, maybe going to impact you or make you feel a certain kind of way. Um, but yeah, they know you don't deserve it. Like, they know that you deserve, you know, people to show up, you know, being their best self. And they've been thinking they need to find another way to manage their stress because it does make them more irritable. It does make them more aggressive and make them more distant. Um, and they do think you've noticed and they don't want you to see them like that they think you're already very kind and very generous which they think can be easily taken for granted um or people take advantage of it and they 
don't want to be one of those people or they think they will never be one of those people instead like they want to be the one acting selflessly towards you for no other reason than it will make them happy to see you happy you know they do think there are a lot of ways in which you guys aren't really compatible um but they feel like you have something that they want you know like you have a lot of qualities that they want I mean, for some of you, they could think it's an opposites attract kind of situation, but they may not even think too deeply into it, to be honest. Um, but anyway, so they see you as having something that they have, like they don't necessarily think about using you or anything like that. Um, what they want, though, is your self-assurity. I don't know if assurity is the word, but they want your self-assurity and they want someone like that in their life who is self-assured who is um confident they think they aren't very confident and they don't necessarily care about being confident but they do think your confidence can balance them out and how they show up like, regardless, they think you both are very attracted to one another. And they think you're great at manifesting the things that you want in life. That could, they could actually believe um, <laughs> you manifested them. They think you're very charming and generally have a lot of endearing qualities. The fact that you always have a smile on your face for some of you, even when shit hits the fan. Um... <laughs> I hear him. Oh, wait, what? Okay. <laughs> For some of you, I don't know why it's funny, but the, they think um, the way you handle awkward situations is either funny or, or they kind of like the way you handle awkward situations. <laughs> I don't know. Um, <laughs> but yeah. Um, or they kind of just find you quite generous and supportive in general. They think you guys have fallen into a nice little routine. Or they think you guys will fall into a nice little routine and they honestly love it. They think you both are quite possessive and jealous over each other and they quite like that too. Even though there's nothing to be jealous or possessive over, like there's no, you know, underlying reasons for it, like, you know. Uh, like thinking you're being unfaithful or something like that they just think you guys are naturally like that uh, which they like you know they think you're both pretty intense and they like that too they like that you guys are able to match each other on an intimacy level for some of you this is just something that they think you guys will be able to do Um, but yeah, they definitely think you make their life more fulfilling and they also believe you have given their life meaning as well. Um, and they do think you guys will be together for a very long time. Um, they think you guys have the utmost potential and they see you both as equals in the relationship too. Like they feel like there is a level of respect that you guys have for each other. They could think sometimes you influence and maybe manipulate them but this honestly doesn't really feel like a bad thing um this even maybe feels like a good thing maybe they don't see it as bad anyway like maybe you do it to um get them to do something fun or get them out of their comfort zone and you know generally they do think you really open them up emotionally mentally and spiritually and help them let go of disappointments that they may have been carrying on to for some of you maybe this is someone who normally like if something happens or if someone is to annoy them like they'll carry that feeling like oh in my mind you know but with you maybe you help them let go of disappointments like again like um they do think you influence them to to be better in a way like the ace of the ace of swords and the two of swords both came out so maybe like you know with the two of swords maybe they are normally quite torn overthinking you know 
um, that going back and forth, and forth in terms of their head, like having a confused perspective, but it feels like you've been through this down to like have a clear perspective and kind of let things go. Um, and you know, they kind of feel like you're influencing them to grow, and they think that you admire the growth that they are going through as well, you know. Um, so yeah, they think you guys are really good for each other. But that is what I have for, for those of you who chose this reading. I do hope it could be helpful and make sense, and I'm wishing you the best. Bye. Hey, welcome. If you've chosen the Black Obsidian, the third group, then this reading is for you. How are you guys? I hope you are doing good. So, depending on your mind, what are they thinking? We have Queen of Swords upright, we have the Six of Cups upright, and the Lovers in reverse. Alright, so what are they thinking? Okay, so they think that you are quite sweet, honestly, you know, they feel like even though you are quite sweet, like you are quite serious as well. Um, they like that a lot though, they like that duality between your seriousness and you being funny and sweet. Like, they even think you seem kind of innocent as well. Even though you seem kind of intimidating. Like, it's, it's, it's you know. Um, but yeah, they like it a lot. They do think y'all need to move slowly in the process of getting to know each other. Because right now, um, they kind of feel like maybe you don't know much about each other yet. They think you're attracted to them. And they think that they're your type. Whereas they think you aren't their usual type, and but they think you're attractive though, you know. For some of you, your energy could be more masculine than they're used to. Um, but anyways. And for some of you, this is so random, but they could think you're shorter than they are used to as well, random. Um, but for most of you, it's like maybe personal traits, like personality, upbringing, like they aren't used to a person like you. But they think the more you guys spend time with each other and talk to each other, it will be normal. It almost feels like they see you guys as coming from different worlds, you know. But they think like the differences between you guys and the fact that, yeah, they think it could work, you know, it makes them excited. Like they think you're quite interested and they could think that being with a person with you will be quite interesting in like together, you know, it will be like a unique experience. Um, but yeah, they also think that you have features that are beautiful as well. Like, they really love your face, like your lips, your smile. They love that you are mature and you show them, like, respect, you know. They do think you're very kind and generous. They think you're confident and wise and also, you know, very playful. And they like that, you know, dynamic in you. Um... And they also think you have a banging sense of humour as well. They do think that most of the decisions that you make are well thought out. That you don't really rush into making decisions. They could think you are stubborn a little bit and you prefer to lead a stress-free life. Um, they think people see you as a leader. But you may not like it because you don't like the extra work it brings. Like this, <laughs> this is what they think. But it feels like they understand, like they could see you as having enough stuff to deal with, you know, without having to like pick up everyone else's, you know, slack as well. Um, but honestly, like <clears throat> they do think.
if you do feel like you maybe don't like cleaning up after other people they do think you're a problem solver though you know so they could think that role comes naturally to you like you you have a sharp mind in this person's eyes they think you've gone through a hard time maybe recently um maybe like within the last few months or weeks or something like that um and they they feel like during that experience or during that time you didn't have a lot of support um they do think you're a good person though um that always tries to do the right thing um but i don't know if i've said this already but like they do think like you do try to make the right decisions you know they do think you're mature but they aren't sure that they can trust you yet this may be nothing that you've done they could think it takes a lot for them to trust people for two people um, to trust each other but they do think you trust them and they do think that you have some kind of faith in them as well they do think you see them as um, especially if they're a dude like they do think you see them as a man that is quite gentle they think they like you but it's still early days in their mind but they don't think you're going to rush into any kind of romantic situation with them or anyone anyway to be honest you know this person they really like that you're honest but it's not brutal honesty you know so that they they really respect it um if any of you are parents they think you're amazing with your children or child and other people's kids actually too they do think you can be emotionally closed off like it takes you a while to warm up to people or open up to people emotionally and they think it's hard for you to let people in as well but honestly overall like they think you're in a happy and good place right now um they could think your family should or should have felt lucky to have you around um and they think that they don't or certain people don't respect or treat you as they should But yeah, they think there's good things for you guys up ahead, you know? Like, even if... <clears throat> Night of Cards, like... Even if something romantic doesn't happen... They do think you guys would be good friends. And good to each other. They think there could be, like, a lot of compassion... Love and understanding between you guys. But anyways, that is all that I have for those of you who chose this group. I really do hope it can be helpful and make sense, and I'm wishing you guys the best. Bye.